Hello everyone. So today I want to do a quick tutorial about how to go over this week's Foursquare card. Um, this is the fourth week that we've been doing this. So by now you guys should be getting into the hang of it, into the routine. So I'm just going to go through it pretty quickly. Um, it looks very similar to how it has looked in past weeks. And just like in previous weeks, I have selected one of the activities on this document and have given you a more in-depth tutorial. And so there is a link to another um, video on that in the email and in a uh, class notebook and in the assignments on Teams. So you can find those links in three different places. All right, so for this week, May 4th, as always, we have some reading. We want you to continue reading for 30 minutes a day for your pleasure, for fun. If you are running out of books to read, I find that I am beginning to running out, running out of books to read in my home. Um, I have given you some online resources in the class notebook under the virtual resources um, tab in um, resources is what it's called. And then I've also last week, a, I put an announcement in Teams that was like, hey, check out this resource. You can download free books here. So read for 30 minutes a week. In addition, I have a very short article here called The Value of Being Confused. And just like last week, what we have done is we have linked the reading article with the TED Talk. And so these two things are connected in some way. Um, the TED Talk for this week is called Grit, the Power and Passion, the Power of Passion and Perseverance. Um, it's all about having um, the benefits of having a growth mindset. So what I would like for you guys to do is to read that article, watch the TED Talk, and then you can respond either using Flipgrid or Padlet. It is your choice. Um, and then we have our tic-tac-toe board for this week. It is different from previous weeks. It has different prompts. Again, what I would like you to do for that is to just upload one document that has all of your writing prompts on it into the team's assignment. And then uh, we also have for our thinking here, I'd like for you to create a YouTube playlist for the soundtrack of your life or for a character from a book that you love. Um, and then submit an explanation of why these songs apply with a link to the playlist. This is the, uh, this is the item that I have chosen to do a more in-depth tutorial on. And so um, in your email and in Teams, you will have a link that explains in more detail how to do this. All right. And I chose to do this because I feel like this is something that's a little bit more new that maybe we haven't done before. Um, our further assignment this week, I feel is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's about finding poetry. Again, we've done, um, at this point, we've done spines, we've done blackouts. Um, and then this is taking articles or magazines or things lying around your house, cutting out text and creating a collage into a poem. Um, and I feel like this is an activity that you have probably done before in previous classes. Um, and so I'm, I'm interested to see what you guys create. Get out your scissors, get out your glue sticks, do something that is active and different for English. Um, and so I have a picture of one here and then I also have examples and that and in that link, it also tells you kind of step by step how to do it. So that is your, um, those are your assignments for this week. As always, if you have a question, feel free to email me. You can also submit a form if you want more time or you need like to have a conversation about something. Um, and then I can schedule time with you to talk. Uh, take care and have a great day, guys.